breathe, Melissa, breathe, breathe. Greenville, South Carolina is a vibrant city nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, known for its southern charm, friendly community, and thriving cultural scene. If you are thinking of visiting or moving here, then you'll want to stay tuned. So let's get busy! This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Greenville, South Carolina and the surrounding cities, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Greenville and the surrounding cities. My name is Melissa B. McCall, also known as The Selling Bee, and my team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to the Northeast Georgia and the Western Upstate South Carolina areas. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and all the information is in the description below so that we can help you make a smooth move to the Western South Carolina area. Now, Greenville is located in the upstate region of South Carolina and is strategically positioned between Charlotte, North Carolina, and Atlanta, Georgia. Its picturesque setting offers a blend of urban and natural landscapes. So as far as its proximity to Atlanta, it's about two hours and 15 minute drive. Um, Charlotte, North Carolina, it's about an hour and 30 minutes drive. And then to Columbia, South Carolina, it's about an hour and 30 minutes as well. And for Asheville, North Carolina, it's about an hour's drive. Now, when I looked at the 2022 census, Greenville had a population of around 70,000 residents. However, populations can change. So I definitely advise that you check that out if that matters to you for sure. Greenville boasts a variety of attractions and activities. And one of my favorite things to do is to see Falls Park on the Reedy River. It is a central gym featuring the iconic Liberty Bridge. <laughs> you already know what's wrong. I'm trying not to be, I just... Some days are better than others. Breathe, Melissa, breathe, breathe. The Swamp Rabbit Trail is a favorite for outdoor enthusiasts offering scenic biking and walking paths. The city's downtown is vibrant with a plethora of shops, restaurants, and cultural venues. And Greenville is also known for its diverse and thriving culinary scene. Also, another one of my favorite things to do is to go to the Peace Center and see a show. I've taken my family and former music students to see shows as big as The Lion King on Broadway. The city also offers a wide range of restaurants catering to various tastes and preferences and some types of restaurants that you might be able to find will be like Southern Cuisine where you get to experience traditional Southern comfort food with restaurants serving classic dishes like fried chicken, biscuits, gravy, collard greens, shrimp and grits, all that. Then also, Greenville has embraced the farm to table movement with restaurants sourcing fresh local ingredients to create innovative and seasonal dishes. Also, you can enjoy a global culinary journey with a variety of international restaurants, including Italian, Mexican, Japanese, Thai, Indian, and so many more. And then of course, steak houses. So you can indulge in high quality steaks and fine dining at upscale steak houses, offering prime cuts and sophisticated dining experience. And then given Greenville's proximity to water, you'll find seafood restaurants offering a range of fresh catches from oysters to grilled fish. Greenville also has a vibrant craft beer scene with numerous breweries and brew pubs where you can savor local and regional craft beers. Also, you can explore casual dining options, including burger joints, pizza places, and diners that cater to a laid back atmosphere and family friendly dining. And then of course, for special occasions, Greenville boasts fine dining establishments where you can enjoy exquisite cuisine, exceptional service, and an elegant ambiance. One of my favorites is the Greenville's food truck scene. It adds a dynamic and diverse element to the culinary landscape, offering gourmet street food options. So one of my favorite places to visit is this place right here called Gather in Greenville, or Gather Greenville. And 
we are not here at an ideal time where the vibe is popping and there are a lot of people here and of course because the, the, the sun has gone down and the moon is out and it's nighttime, you would get the feel of the lights and all the really cool things um, and of course smell all the different foods. But if you're ever here during the nighttime is a really great time and of course during the summertime it's absolutely amazing too. There's sometimes live music as well. It's just a really cool place to be. Then of course, catering to various dietary preferences, you'll find restaurants with extensive vegetarian and vegan menus ensuring there's something for everywhere. There are dessert shops, so you can indulge your sweet tooth at dessert shops offering a variety of treats from artisanal chocolates to decadent pastries and ice cream. And of course, start your day at one of the city's cozy coffee shops or cafes offering artisanal coffee, pastries, and a relaxing atmosphere. And since we're talking about coffee shops, let's go see if we can find a really cool place for some tea. Pretty good, how are you? Good. Good. So I am in the mood for chai tea latte Perfect. with almond milk, please. Sounds good. And what size would you like? Let's do a medium. Okay. So is that the 16 ounce? Yes. Okay, awesome. Now I heard that you guys put ice cream in your coffee. Is that a thing here? Yes. So we actually have an espresso milkshake, which is a double shot of espresso, and then our ice cream, which we have chocolate or vanilla, and we have a variety of assortments right there. Very cool. Yes. I'm not a huge coffee fan, but I think that's really cool. So that's an ad. Ice cream in your coffee right here at Spill the Beans. So y'all know I love my hot chai tea latte. So I found this cute little spot. Let's see how their chai tea tastes. Also, if you didn't know, a really great feature of living inside of Greenville is having quick access to the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. This airport is located in Greer, South Carolina, and honestly, um, I live between um, the Greenville, Inter the Spartanburg International Airport, and the Atlanta Hartsfield um, Airport, and I prefer the Greenville International Airport just because it's smaller. Um, it's not as, the, the hustle and bustle is, is not as great as the Atlanta airport. Of course, Atlanta is huge, um, Greenville is not so much, but it's easier to fly out of for sure if you can catch flights to the specific destination that you're looking to go to. It's a little bit more pricey because usually they do stop in Atlanta, so there's an extra stop there. But um, as far as convenience and less, less traffic, I really prefer this airport. So like I said, it's located in the Greer, South Carolina area between the cities of Greenville and Spartanburg. And it's situated about 12 miles west of downtown Spartanburg and seven miles east of downtown Greenville. Now, GSP has a single passenger terminal with both domestic and international flights. And this terminal includes various amenities such as shops, restaurants, and services for the travelers. And then of course, it serves as a hub for several airlines and offers a range of domestic and limited international flights. So different um, major carriers that operate from GSP would be American Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines. This is my favorite, as I said, and so it makes Greenville a great, great option if you're looking for easy access in and out via the airplane. Now, the city continues to evolve, welcoming new and innovative dining establishments to delight residents and visitors alike. Also, there are a few colleges located in or near this area, Furman University and Bob Jones University. Let's talk about Furman University. Now, Furman University is a private liberal arts university and it's located right here in this area. I'd like to kind of give you a few key aspects about Furman University. So, Furman was founded in 1826 and is one of the oldest private institutions of higher education in the United States. It has a rich history. Um, it was named after Richard Furman, who was a prominent Baptist leader. 
The university's main campus is situated on 750 acres of land and it features a blend of modern and historic architecture. So the campus is known for its picturesque setting with the late green spaces and Georgian style buildings. Furman offers a comprehensive range of undergraduate and graduate programs, and the university is known for its strong emphasis on liberal arts education, providing students with a well-rounded foundation in various disciplines. There is a very low student-to-teacher ratio as well to keep the classes intimate and the education intentional. Furman's athletic teams, known as the Paladins, compete in NCAA Division Athletics as part of the Southern Conference, and the university has a strong tradition in sports, and students have the opportunity to participate in a variety of athletic programs. As a matter of fact, Greenville as a whole, this whole community is huge into sports. Now, let's talk about Bob Jones University. Now, Bob Jones University is a private Christian liberal art university located right here in this area, and here are some key aspects that I'd like to focus on about them. Now, Bob Jones University was founded in 1927 by evangelist Bob Jones Sr. Initially established in Bay County, Florida, this university later moved to Cleveland, Tennessee, and then eventually to its current location in Greenville, South Carolina. BJU is a conservative Christian university with a fundamentalist Christian philosophy. It's known for its adherence to traditional Christian beliefs and practices. BJU also offers a variety of undergraduate and graduate programs across multiple disciplines, including arts and science, business education, fine arts and religion. And the university emphasizes a Christian worldview in its academic curriculum. The BJU campus features a mix of modern and traditional architecture. Facilities include academic buildings, dormitories, a library, spaces for religious services, and the university is situated on a very large campus right here in Greenville. Now, while BJU does not participate in intercollegiate sports, it does offer intramural sports and recreational activities for their students. And the emphasis on physical fitness and wellness aligns with the university's holistic approach to education. So I am here today on the streets in downtown Greenville, and I've found a 25 year resident of this area. And so I'm just gonna pick his brain. So you say you've been here for 25 years. That's correct, yeah. What do you love most about Greenville? I like, uh... I like that we have a, a beautiful city, a beautiful main street, yeah. and then we have the foothills and the mountains, and uh, yeah. I take my daughter up there, we'll climb, we'll walk the mountains, you know, hike the mountains and stuff, yeah. and uh, it's nice, it's yeah. nice. You, know, you get the waterfalls and stuff, so you can kind of sort of, you know, enjoy it. It's an enjoyable place to be, and it's nice, the people are nice. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So you said that you are not from here, though, yeah, so good. where are you from? Baltimore. And what brought you, if you can say, from Baltimore all the way to Greenville? Well, it was a business opportunity, but uh, that business opportunity didn't work. But there's no way I was going back to Baltimore once yeah, I lived here. Because yeah. this is so much nicer. Yeah, yeah, so give me one of the differences between Baltimore and South Carolina. I would say just congestion. Uh, you know, Baltimore, like D.C., you know, you yeah. got those beltways, and it's a madhouse. Yeah. And uh, it gets a little busy. Traffic gets a little tight here sometimes, but uh, all in all, it's not a problem. Sure, you know? sure, sure. So I heard you say something about the outdoors that you yes. love to do with your daughter. Sure. So can you give us one of the spots that you would highly recommend for someone who's an outdoors person? Table Rock. Okay. Table Rock. My daughter and I do that at least once a year. Yeah. And uh, you, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a hike. But it feels good, and you get up to the top, and you can look out over all the land, and yeah. it's really rewarding to make that hike. Very because good. Because it's tough. Yeah. It's a tough hike. You've, been, you've done it? I've not done you, it. You need to do it. <laughs> How long have you lived it. here? I've lived in Lake Hartwell okay. all my life. Okay. Yeah. Greenville is about an hour away. Right. So sure, so sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's awesome. Okay, last question, and that's about the cost of living. I know you come yeah. from the, the Baltimore area. Sure. So I'm sure it's a huge difference with the cost of living. Yes, okay. but I came here so long ago, to, yeah. that before all the astronomical real estate stuff happened sure. 25 years ago. That was before 2008 and all that other stuff. Yeah. So prices were kind of sort of reasonable in Baltimore and here. Yeah, for you sure. You know, it's only now, you know, in the last 20 or 25 years that things have gone crazy. Sure. You know, okay. but um, I would say, like, the price of food is the same everywhere, yeah. kind of, sort of, and, yeah. uh, but there's nothing cheap here. Yeah, <laughs> that's, for sure. uh, that's for sure. But I would, it costs less because of the taxes and stuff in Maryland, you know, the taxes and the fees yeah. and 
all that other stuff. You know, yeah. when you buy a home, all the uh, utility hookups and stuff, just outrageous. Yeah. And the property tax up there is outrageous. Yeah. So there's a big difference. Big difference. Yes. Awesome. Well, you've been so helpful. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. I hope Pleasure. you have a great day. You, you as well. Thank you. All right. Now, if you're moving to the area for job opportunities, Greenville has experienced economic growth, particularly in sectors like manufacturing, healthcare, and technology. There are major employers here that include BMW Manufacturing, Michelin North America, and Prisma Health. Now, the city provides diverse educational options, including public and private schools. Greenville County Schools is one of the largest school districts in South Carolina with numerous schools catering to a diverse student population. The district operates a large number of schools, including elementary, middle, and high schools. The specific number of schools may vary, and it's advisable to definitely check the district's uh, official website, contact them directly if you want more current information. Now, Greenville County offers a variety of educational programs to meet the needs of students at different grade levels. This includes traditional classroom instruction, as well as programs for gifted and talented students, special education services, um, homeschooling communities as well. The district emphasizes a well-rounded education and students have the opportunity to participate in a wide range of extracurricular activities, including sports, arts, music, and clubs. And then the school district also has made efforts to integrate technology into education, providing students with access to digital resources and tools to enhance their learning experiences. Greenville County Schools serves a diverse student population and efforts are made to create inclusive and welcoming learning environments. So the district values its diversity and strives to provide equitable educational opportunities for all students. Schools within Greenville County are subject to accountability measures and the district may provide information about school performance standard test scores and other relevant metrics. I'll make sure that I provide a link in the description below if you're looking to dive into more information about that. Now let's talk housing. So the housing market in Greenville caters to various preferences from historic homes and neighborhoods like the West End to modern developments. There's a wide range of options. Housing prices can vary, so let's go drive around and check out a few neighborhoods in different price points. I'll go down here. Okay, so it looks like, no, there's a, there's a road. <laughs> These are super cute, oh my gosh. Wow, so these all look like new constructions here in this neighborhood, right in the downtown area. This is really ideal, guys. And I know there's not a lot of yards, but what I love about the South is the fact that you can purchase property with land. And if you are not interested in having the maintenance of a yard, you can also live in some really cool locations. There's a garden there. You can live in some really cool locations um, without having to worry about so much yard maintenance. So, yeah, this is, this is really cute. If you're looking for those nice neighborhoods where it looks like people um, look after each other, you can definitely find that here, even in the downtown area. More housing up through there. Greenville has just done a ton of adding um, as jobs and of course during the uh, pandemic a lot of people from the bigger cities started moving to the south and um, of course that called for a demand where more housing was needed. Now let's talk about the cultural scene. So Greenville embraces the arts with numerous theaters, galleries, and cultural events. The Peace Center for the Performing Arts hosts concerts, Broadway shows, and more. The city also hosts festivals such as Artisphere, celebrating visual and performing arts. By the way, I'm also creating a video that will be called 10 Unique Things to Do in Greenville, and you will be able to check that out for more detailed information about different activities to do while you're here. Now, nature lovers will find plenty to explore. So in addition to Falls Park and the Swamp Rabbit Trail, there are opportunities for hiking, kayaking, and enjoying the scenic beauty of the Blue Ridge Mountains. 
Let's talk community spirit. So one of Greenville's standout features is a strong sense of community. Residents often engage in local events, farmers markets, and community initiatives contributing to the city's welcoming atmosphere. Greenville offers a delightful blend of Southern hospitality, outdoor adventures, and cultural experiences. So whether you're considering a move or just planning a visit, the city's unique charm is sure to leave a lasting impression. And let me just say, if you relocate to Greenville, you won't be a stranger for long because it, along with several other surrounding counties, still offers that good old fashioned Southern hospitality where people greet one another with a smile. So again, if you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. And better yet, be sure to comment below and let me know where you're coming from or the biggest question you have in regards to Greenville and the surrounding areas, and I'd be happy to help you out. So until the next time, I hope to see you around town. Bye.